Rail car doors are one of the most important components for protection in the transportation environment. They provide the only access to the interior of the rail car. Since they must be opened and closed at origin and destination, there is a potential for them to sustain damage if opened or closed improperly. During the past several years, there has been a growing concern about care and use of boxcar doors stemming from the increasing number of repairs being performed. Rail car doors should open and close easily. There are approximately 155,000 boxcars in service today, which equates to over 300,000 doors that are susceptible to damage. These are examples of doors that have been damaged either through use or misuse. How did they get this way? This video, Use and Protection of Boxcar Doors, will show what the problem is, the causes, and how to open and close these doors safely. Let's first look at the effects of door damage. Doors or door posts that are damaged can allow water to enter the rail car and cause product damage as shown here with wet rolls of paper. Doors that are damaged beyond use must be repaired. While being repaired, the rail car is not being utilized for transporting the shipper's product. This also results in lost productivity to the shipper during this downtime. Doors become so badly damaged that safety becomes an issue. These are examples of such damage. Unfortunately, this damaged door caused this problem, which could result in property damage or injury. Now, Let's look at some of the causes of damaged doors. When product or dunnage inside the rail car applies lateral force against the doors, the door can be damaged. If the force is great enough, the door will become dislodged, which creates the possibility that the door will fall off the rail car. Again, the possibility of property damage or injury is increased. Remember, do not use doors for bracing of any load. During loading and unloading, lift trucks coming in contact with doors will cause damage. The maneuvering of a lift truck must be done with caution. Even the slightest bump against the door could cause damage. When possible, doors on both sides of a rail car should be opened to remove this potential for damage. Doors must be fully open prior to loading and unloading to prevent a lift truck from striking the edge of the door. When a door that is difficult to open is encountered, the practice of opening the door with a lift truck can cause damage. AAR rules state that lift trucks are not to be used to open rail car doors. There are instances when the installation or removal of dock plates can cause damage. Care must be used while performing this procedure. Okay. The anti-slip block under the dock plates are sometimes constructed so as to sit on top of the bottom door rail or even hang down far enough to push against the door rail. If this condition exists with a dock plate you are to use, another plate must be used in order to prevent damaging the door rail. When you encounter a door that you're not able to open with minimal effort, what is the best and safest way to open it? To answer this question, we need to begin reviewing the types of doors you will encounter and how to properly open them. Most rail cars are equipped with one of two types of doors, the sliding door or the plug door. With safety being first and foremost, you must inspect all doors before opening. Make sure that they are not off their tracks at the top or the bottom. If this condition exists, do not attempt to open the door. It is unsafe. Advise the serving carrier of this condition so that they can respond to the situation. Here's what to look for on sliding doors. 
First, check to ensure that the top of the door is inside the top channel. Then make sure the bottom keepers or the bottom inside flange on this type of door are in good condition. Here's what to look for on plug doors. They are usually equipped with one of two types of opening mechanism, an operating handle or operating levers. When inspecting plug doors, the top operating crank assemblies must not be bent or fractured. The rollers must not be exposed below the top retainer flange. Perform the same inspection on the third upper arm assembly. This arm assembly is required by the FRA. Make sure the operating rods, operating handle, and levers are not bent or broken. Check to see if the bottom rollers and crank arms are in good condition. Make sure that both flanges on the roller assemblies are in good condition like this, and not like this, and that the back flange is not missing. Make sure the doorstop exists and is in good condition. To open this type of operating assembly, make sure that the operating handle is loose in its keeper. Then operate the handle slowly until the operating crank arms are fully extended. When operating a plug door with levers, step to one side of the lever assembly. While holding one lever in one hand, tap the opposite lever from its position. Then, remove the remaining lever and pull both levers towards you slowly until the crank assembly arms are fully extended. Push either the sliding or plug door open do not pull open. Open the door approximately two feet and look inside the car to determine that nothing is against the door or might fall after the door is fully opened. When you have determined that nothing is against the door and nothing can fall out, continue opening the door to its fully open position. If the door cannot be opened by hand, here are the proper tools to use. Utilize a cable or a chain winch, which can be installed and operated from the dock or ground level. From the dock level, attach the hook end of the cable to the lower half of the door. Do this also if on the ground level. There is usually a handle or bracket to attach the hook. At the dock level, Attach the ratchet end of the winch to the end of the door guide rail or one of its support brackets. At the ground level, you may be able to attach the ratchet end to a bracket towards the end of the rail car. Never attach the hook to the rail car ladder. Making sure everyone stands clear, start operating the ratchet. After the door is opened approximately two feet, look inside the rail car and determine that nothing is against the door or might fall after the door is fully opened. When you have determined that nothing is against the door and there is no possibility of anything falling out, continue operating the ratchet until either the door moves freely and can be moved by hand or the door is completely opened. If something is against the door or there exists the possibility of something falling out, stop and notify the serving carrier of this condition and they will assist you in solving this problem. Even if you are successful in opening the door with a winch, the railroad should be notified of the damaged door so arrangements can be made to repair the door before it is used again. If you are a shipper, remember that if you choose to force a rail car door open by any method other than those that have been demonstrated in this video, more damage can be caused to the door and it is your customer who is faced with opening this door. If you are a receiver, the same holds true except that it will be a shipper who will be faced with this problem. In summary, you must not use a lift truck to open doors. You must open doors fully, open all doors when possible, 
and if not possible, do not hit the offside door during loading or unloading, and use care when installing dock plates. When you have finished unloading a car, always close and latch the doors. Boxcar doors are not designed to travel in the open position. Leaving them open can also lead to door damage. Shippers and receivers must report bad doors so that the car can be repaired. The railroad spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on door repairs. This would not be necessary if we just took care of them. We also need to utilize the car defect report initiated by the Joint Industry Rail Car Boxcar Task Force. This report is intended to catch damage and start repairs before someone else is faced with a problem of bad doors. Please remember that safety is of the utmost concern and a damaged door is an accident waiting to happen. The responsibility rests with all of us to make sure this does not happen. Remember, safety requirements may vary from company to company. Always adhere to your company's requirements for safety attire and safe loading procedures. For additional help, contact your serving railroad or contact the Association of American Railroads, Damage Prevention and Loading Services, 50 F Street Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2001. You may call us at area code 202-639-2340.